is that I grew up working class, so I grew up with people that you know didn't have a lot of money. There were people poorer than us, and I still work around poor people a fair amount in my line of work as a landscaper. In designing all these elements for this chicken habitat, I knew there were people that didn't have a lot of money, didn't have a lot of skill, and I felt like, well, they should be able to have chickens too. So everything I did was geared with those people in mind, worked out a plan. I actually met a woman who was a first grade teacher, and she wanted to have a chicken coop for two dozen chickens uh, because she didn't make a lot of money as a teacher, wanted to have some land, wanted to have a little mini farm. And we were chatting at the feed and feed store where I met her, and she said she wanted this kind of coop, but she had like no budget. And I said, well, I've got a plan for you. I want to build a coop out of pallets. And I've been looking for somebody just like you. So I told her to take her pickup truck, get 16 pallets, and I would meet her at her farm with my tools. Her dad and I, and uh, and her name was Katie, and mm-hmm. the three of us, in an afternoon, we had put in a foundation of cinder blocks. We had built a floor made out of pallets and plywood. We had built the walls out of pallets, and we had framed the roof for this chicken coop in like three hours. Wow. <laughs> which is, yes, yes. And it went pretty painted. There was very little cutting to be done because the pallets already, you know, you've got a big, uh, it, basically the floor framing and the wall framing, the roof mm-hmm. framing is like made. It's good to go. Mm-hmm. And all you need is a drill with some three-inch screws made for outdoor use. And zoom, 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 you know, you're putting the thing together and it's up. So she, uh, I had to, um, I wasn't able to stay any longer than that, but she and her father, cut up some pallets and to make the siding and one of her one of her students uh their parents are roofers and had some scrap uh, metal roofing that they donated to the project for full conversations and future content please subscribe at offthegridbiz.com